What's going on guys? It's Rookie of Attack with Solutions. Thank you guys again for tuning in. So well, I want to first off apologize for all those that tuned in for our first live stream. That definitely was not the best connection. It looks like the connection is much better now. So um, let's go ahead and give this another shot. I'm, I, I, I've already covered uh, a couple different stocks. So uh, I'm kind of just going to start off where I left off. Um, and then in the description, once this live stream is over, I'm going to be posting all the different tickers that I talked about in this live stream uh, and the support and resistance. I really do apologize again for the inconvenience of um, the, the previous delay. So I restart the Wi-Fi and everything should be. Uh, everything looks green right now. So um, first of all, thank you guys again. So our Sunday Stock Talk is where we come together as a group. We talk about the different stocks that we see value in in preparation for the entire week. Uh, my name is Rookie. We have over 78,000 members within our group uh, and let's get right to it. So here we go. Boom, boom, boom. I'm using the TD Ameritrade Think or Swim platform. So for those that aren't familiar with it, I have made videos on how to gain access to this if you don't have this already and it is 100% free if you're within the United States and I think in, in different parts of uh, Northern America, uh, you just might have to pay a little bit higher fees if I'm not mistaken, especially if you're in Canada. Um, so let's go ahead and um, talk about or where I left off. So CLIR. So the reason that I see valence CLIR is uh, so one of two things. Um, looking at the one-year pattern, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. So this one is showing kind of horizontal patterns. Uh, realistically, tends to hold that around uh, three thirty uh, to about four dollars based on previous patterns. So this sell-off that it had isn't necessarily uh, very normal. Um, it did have the sell-off before, and then it did do a full recovery. So going based off that pattern, that's a potential good sign. You know, uh, we can't expect that every single time, but it did just now break above the 180-day EMA. So that's a potential good sign as well. Uh, but as long as it continues this uptrend pattern, just like it did last time, then that would be great, uh, right? So let's kind of go ahead and talk about support and resistance. So overall resistance, I'm going to talk about that, uh, and that's going to be around $4. So it's touched $4 um, a majority of the time. So uh, with that, you know, um, it gives us a better understanding that this is more of an ideal sell point. Now, where's more of an ideal buy point? Uh, usually it bounces at around $3, so that might be a resistance that we might have trouble breaking above. So we talked about the support and resistance. Now I'm going to be setting my alerts when it breaks above $3 so I can know when, you know, uh, CLIR is relevant, and then I can be able to capitalize from $3 to the overall resistance at $4, which offers a little bit over 20% potential for profit, around 30%. So um, that's a pretty good return on your investment in comparison to the potential loss if you manage a risk um, below the EMA line or whatever whatever the case may be. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Uh, this is one that we talked about last week. This is GRXXF. This is uh, a lower cap stock, so this is one that's a little bit newer. Uh, since the time, so I'm not going to be looking at the 180-day chart. I'm going to be looking at it at the 20-day chart because I feel like the patterns are a little bit more relevant uh, to the 20-day chart. So we can see that it's been showing signs of a consistent uptrend. Now, how is it that you can get a better understanding of where a good buy is and where a good sell is? Well, based off this previous pattern, since our last call out, the last time, if you guys tune in, uh, or watch the video from our last week Sunday stock talk. It came from 68 cents and it closed last week uh, or made highs of about 81 cents. That's an 18% return. So for those that were able to capitalize it, congrats to you. Now, what is something to be expected with this overall pattern? Well, understanding that it's been showing signs of a consistent uptrend, that is exactly what we'd expect it to do. If it does a break of pattern where it truly breaks below um, and starts to trend below the 180-day uh, EMA, then obviously that would not be a good pattern or um, overall indication for an investment on GRXXF. Uh, but if it continues this uptrend pattern and it continues to hold above the 180 day um, as it's been doing, then it would make sense on why you know this would be a potential good investment, especially for those that have maybe a little bit less uh, of, a, of a smaller account. Uh, this could be huge, right? But just make sure that you understand the pattern. Make sure that you understand that with these higher return, lower cap stocks, there's a higher risk um, uh, or margin of risk involved. Uh, so if you're willing to take the risk, then this can be uh, potentially a great pit, uh, fit for you. But if not, then you just want to make sure that you uh, cap, uh, you manage your potential for profit in comparison to your potential for loss. And when it comes down to breaking down um, GRXXF, within the past couple of weeks, it's obviously been showing signs of a consistent uptrend, and the volume has definitely been uh, picking up and been a little bit more consistent. So just something to look into, and if as long as it continues this uptrend pattern and holds above and bounces off the EMA, then obviously uh, this continuous uptrend pattern uh, would make sense. So uh, projected for this week, if it can continue this growth, uh, then it would make sense on why GRXF, uh, XXF uh, would potentially be able to break above $1. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one. This one has a very similar pattern uh, to uh, 
what, what is it? Uh, this one has a very similar pattern to uh, the inverse uh, gold-based ETFs. So right now it did have a pullback. It did pull back with like DUST and JDST, uh, which is, you know, great for us that are potentially being able to get into it now. Um, understanding that we want to make sure again that we wait for that confirmation that email line is still a little bit far away. Uh, so maybe getting that confirmation when it breaks above $22. Uh, $22. And based off previous resistance, do you see that resistance that it had at around $24? That would make sense. So it offers about a 10% margin, which is, you know, I think accommodates a lot of our traders weekly goal. Uh, so how cool would it be to only have to take one position and, you know, it covers your entire week's profit. Now we do have to be patient with this one. We have to set our alerts and make sure that we jump into whatever position we want to when it's actively trending up and that's definitely not something that DSLV is currently doing but it's something that we can prepare for so simply by setting our alerts we can go ahead and right click click create alerts and then make sure that we're alerted when it goes above uh, the overall 180 day EMA uh, let's go ahead and break this one down very quickly so DRN has been consolidating for quite some time it is still struggling and trying to hold above $20 had a really nice push last week uh, for about one or two days and then had a pullback one of the things that we want to make sure that we see is a break above $21 for it to continue this pattern from $21 to overall $23. And uh, from $21 to $23, it covers about a 10% margin. But for those that were able to get in sub $20, uh, then obviously the margin of profit is a little bit greater on that. Um, and you know anywhere from the 15 to 18% potential for profit. So just imagine you have $10,000 and 18 or a $1,500 return with just taking one trade. Um, that's pretty great. Uh, but Again, you want to make sure that you calculate your margin of profit compared in comparison to your margin of loss. Now, there's a couple stocks that I wanted to break down that were in my general watch list that I quickly wanted to cover. Uh, but one of the things that I want to make sure that I do before is actually speak to the group uh, and the different stocks that you guys are calling out. So let's go ahead and pop out this chat. Uh, all right. Okay, so Jose says I'm a magician with those trend lines. That's funny. Um, let's go ahead and talk about um, if you guys want to call out. So for all those that are joining us live, first of all, thank you. And thank you again for tuning, retuning back into this entire live stream. So I do apologize for that inconvenience. Um, what I wanted to ask you guys is uh, before we close out the live stream, I wanted to break down a couple stocks that you guys see value in. So uh, feel free to call out the stock that you see value in and the support and resistance. Give me some understanding that you actually understand that you're not just calling something out, but that you have a fundamental understanding of or a technical understanding of the overall stock itself. So let's see, let's see. All right, we talked about D gas already. So we have a couple of people. We have Patrick uh, calling out UAN. So let's go ahead and talk about that one real quick. Okay, so I see why he's calling this one out. Do you guys see this on the 180-day pattern? It's been showing signs of a consistent uptrend pattern. It just had this sell-off, and based off previous patterns, when it breaks above the EMA, it has a pretty nice spike up. So that would be something to uh, potentially keep your eyes out for. The usual margin that it covers, it's about 22%. 20 percent. So it's about 20% every single time. Um, so if it continues this pattern, then it would make sense on the next resistance to be. It continues to make new highs slowly, uh, to, so about $4.40. Uh, so I'm going to set my alerts. This could be one that I potentially want to look into. Uh, so thank you again for calling that one Now We're going to set our alerts there. Uh, and then in my general watch list, I'll go ahead and add this one. And it's UAN. Appreciate it. Thank you again for that call out. Okay, so I, I like this breakdown. Do you see how it was a little bit more thorough? So pretty pink MMA. Uh, so the explanation is, okay, so and, and the ticker is edit. All right, so this one's uh, a little bit more of an ascending uptrend pattern. I don't know anything about this company itself, but um, all I know is that when I see, when I look at this overall pattern, the time that I would see the most potential for profit is when it has these sell-offs and then breaks again above the EMA. Right now, we can see that it's a little bit more on the overextended side. It's been, uh, you know, pulled back by the overall resistance on the RSI indicator. And we can see the MACD indicator starting to kind of curve back in. And that's ne not necessarily the best sign because it usually does this. Do you see this pattern where it like puts a spike and then it, you know, shows this downward pattern and then it has a sell-off, you know, it does this like, double green, double green, it's doing this double green and it's showing this descending pattern. Uh, so it's done this time after time and that's usually right before a sell off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my alert a little bit above $32 uh, just so I'm alerted when it does pull back. 
Um, if it continues to rally, then great. But based on previous patterns and where it kind of stands right now, it's at overall highs. And I, that's not a good buy, right? Because the volume is not necessarily um, crazy or outrageous. It's you know, um, it's a little bit higher than normal, uh, so we'll just have to follow up with it. But realistically, when it really gets going, um, it does much better than um, where it's at right now. So um, thank you again for that call out. I think this is more of a sell than a buy at the current moment. I'd wait a little bit more for a sell off consolidation and then break above the EMA to get a better understanding or to get that reassurance that we're getting in at a, at a better buy. Okay, <laughs> what's going on? Uh, Ricky, it's Rico. All right, let's talk about USAT. Yes. So uh, thank you again for calling that one out. Uh, so USAT was one, as you can see, my uh, little breakdown. So I actually spoke to, if I'm not mistaken, Rico, about the specific ticker. And this is one that he found himself. So it does have its earnings coming up. So just be aware of that. But the overall resistance that it had before was around $8.50. And then the overall resistance here, about $10. So we've identified a previous margin. Now it had this sell-off. It broke above the EMA. And we got that confirmation for a downtrend. Now, as you can see, it's been consolidating here. So I have my alert set here at around $8.80 for it to get that confirmation or build that somewhat cup and handle pattern, really just show signs of a reversal. So I think um, as it's getting closer to that $8 price point, we'll see a little bit more confirmation. We might see a little bit of a sell-off to about $8. We'll see some consolidation and then hopefully it to start picking back up. Keep a very close eye out for the earnings report as that might act as a catalyst for either a huge increase or decrease of the overall price price valuation, um, but um, just set your alerts. Um, right now, there's no, can't, right now it's kind of just a guessing game. Uh, let's make sure that we wait for a confirmation of a reversal or some form of indication that it's actually gonna start trending up. But I think this is a great one to have and to add to your watch list. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, I did add it to my watch list. So thank you again, Rico, for calling that one out. I really do appreciate it. Oh, appreciate that, Will. Thank you again. So let's see. Okay, PayPal. Okay, so continuous uptrend pattern. Looks like it's hitting no resistance at around $85. Makes sense. Um, has its earnings coming up. Um, and based off previous earnings, it did have a catalyst. Did okay, so based off previous um, earnings, it has exceeded its expectation. Um, usually has a downward pattern leading up to its earnings, and that what's, that's what kicks it back into place. Um, so uh, realistically, this thing doesn't really, um, and unless it has a sell-off, that's usually when I would see the most value in. I could see why you would want to invest in it because of its continuous uptrend pattern and its like long-term uptrend uh, growth. Um, it just doesn't have the return that I'm necessarily looking for. So let's say within like a month, um, it's it's increased from anywhere from uh, let's see, come on. Not bad, about 10%. That's actually not bad, especially for a multi-billion dollar company. Um, so, you know, that, that's getting that perspective. So thank you again for calling that one out. Uh, let's see. Angel, what's going on, man? So, okay, so HIMX having signs of a sell-off. I actually don't like this one because I feel like it has a little bit too much to do with hype. Uh, but when it does really get going, it, it does get going. So let's just set our alerts and it looks like it's starting to consolidate here at $8. So we could draw our support line there. Looks like that was based off of previous patterns. We just need to show signs of a reversal. So let's go ahead and set our alerts when this thing breaks above $8.50. And if we could get a potential sign of a reversal and we could see the volume or the momentum to start pick up, uh, then that would be a direct correlation on, you know, that the demand is there and that we might see a price increase. Um, so right now it's more based off of technicals. I don't know anything about the company. It does have its earnings coming up. And uh, based off of previous earnings, it actually had a really big catalyst on what drove the price up. So I don't know if you know anything about you know how profitable this company is, but that might be something to look into, especially leading up to its earnings within the next couple of weeks. So again, Angel, thank you again for that call out. BLOK, let's talk about that one. I think I know which one this is. Yeah, the blockchain. Um, is the ETF. Okay, so it's been showing signs of a consistent uptrend. Looks like it bounces off the EMA line uh, pretty nicely. Um, and 180 day chart doesn't really do it much to do. Uh, let me go ahead and change my studies, edit studies. I'm gonna go here. Wow, my length of the EMA right now is at, that's not, that wasn't supposed to happen. It's supposed to be at 15. Okay, so it looks like when it really gets going, um, I would wait a little bit more for a sell-off. It looks like it really did get manipulated, got sent over to $24 and then have that huge pullback and then continue that uptrend pattern. So as long as it continues this uptrend pattern, then great, uh, but it's a little bit too new for me to actually tell. It looks like the volume uh, has been slowly dying out. So if you can tell here, can this thing work? Oh, my goodness. 
All right, yeah. So, um, and within the past week itself, it hasn't really progressed uh, much. Uh, so from, yeah, uh, I would say because it's such a new stock, um, I don't know anything about it, or such a new ETF, um, I would really look into the overall um, ETF itself and, and how it's leveraged. Uh, just because uh, its progression hasn't been the great uh, that great, the volume has definitely been dying out, and I'm not too sure when it comes down to opportunity cost if this would be necessarily something worth investing in. Uh, obviously, if you're a huge believer in the blockchain and all that that it has to offer, then great. But you know, if not, then yeah. So looks like we have a guy getting a little creative. Uh, so let's talk about grain. Uh, overall support at $11, resistance at $11.40. So that would make sense, but again, it's still actively trending down, so it doesn't really make much sense on why we would invest in this one. So, okay, yeah, it's definitely more on the overbought side than oversold leading up to its earnings. You could see this strong downward pattern um, and a potential sell off all the way back down to that $9 support. So I definitely don't see much value in that perspective. You guys are getting very creative with these call outs. Let me go ahead and Talk, uh, see this one, ABBV. Okay, so I could see, okay, and, and this is something that you have to be very careful with. When something pushes up this quickly, you would only expect there to be somewhat of a sudden sell-off, especially because the volume was very present during this time. Um, this volume is not going to be as active like this always, uh, so you would expect if the demand isn't going to be as great as it was at on that day, then you would see you know a decrease in price valuation because if the demand isn't the same the days that follow and it continues to die out, then you would see why the price uh, would overall you know pull back. But it, overall, I'm, I'm thinking about this big picture, it has been showing signs of consistent option. It looks like during its earnings, it did very well, and that's what led to this overall price increase. Uh, just don't get caught into the hype. Wait a little bit more for the sell-off, and it looks like it's... Um, I don't want to say it's done this before. It did have a little price increase, but not anything this drastic. So I would definitely wait for a sell-off and make sure that you are getting in at a good buy and not just getting in at the very top. But it's a really nice uptrend pattern, so thank you again for calling that one out. I, I wouldn't say that, okay, and I, I don't want to influence anyone in, in a negative way or anything like that, but um, you're, you're saying that you're going to sell based off of my breakdown and stuff like that. And um, uh, let me go ahead and put 100k in Blockbuster. Wow, that's not good. Um, let, let me go ahead and I want to talk to you guys just for a little bit, if that's okay, before we end the live stream. Uh, for those that are tuning in, uh, you guys are going to want to just join us very quickly or very briefly uh, to the very end. I, I'll, I promise I'll make this one quick. And it looks like we're uh, pretty decent on time um, well, for this second live stream, right? 17 minutes. So let me go ahead and put it there and then get this. All right, thank you. So, I could see a major correction for BITA. I can definitely see that as well, especially because of uh, BITA has a resistance on the technical standpoint at around um, what's it called, uh, forty dollars. I would I would see why it would make sense for this thing to start pulling back because that was a very strong support before, um, and if it doesn't push above that, and based off previous patterns, the volume is really dying out. So it would make sense on why it would pull back. Uh, but if it continues this uptrend pattern, then there's no saying on you know what what can or cannot happen. So um, one of the things that I really want you guys to focus on. Oh, first is um, let me talk about that uh, very quickly. So I don't want just because I call something out or because I break down a stock that you suggest for me to break down for you. Uh, if you don't like my breakdown, what I want um, that that's one thing. But if I want for all those that are watching to really build your own eye for value. We all see value in different way, and there's people like Brad. So Brad, for example, he's one of the OTC stock group leaders. He's one of the featured YouTube uh, YouTubers uh, within my uh, YouTube. So if you guys click on my YouTube on the right-hand side, you would see three channels. Brad is the, the top one, Vin is the second one, and then Harley is the third one. We, we all have different styles of investing, and Brad focuses on the OTC stock market. That's a huge risk with you know very high reward, and a lot of people like that and excel in that market. I'm a little bit different. I'm a little bit more concerned especially because of how busy I've become. So I tend to accommodate a little bit more for those with full-time jobs or who are full-time students to continuously and consistently make consistent growth. Um, you know, Brad does an amazing job with that, but he has a little bit more of an aggressive style and that works very well for people and it has worked very well for people in the past. Now, 
I just want to make sure that you understand that just because I break something down and I don't see value in it doesn't mean that you can't see value in it either. Um, I really want you guys to become familiar with the patterns and start note taking what works well for you and what doesn't. And because of that, leading into that, making a you know fluid transition, I want to uh, the the reason that I have if you guys watch. Um, a majority of my videos and I'm gonna end it here. So for those that have watched the majority of my videos, I'm, I'm very I'm very consistent with repeating the three rules and making sure that you guys don't trade based off my opinion uh, and, and you know that set structure. I, I talk about structure and discipline uh, for that to be instilled in each and every single one of you. And I know that that's something very difficult uh, because the market is so accessible and it's so free and people lack that structure that they really need to be successful. So for those that I work with on a daily basis, like in our private group chat, so for those that are part of our course, one of the things that I think has really assisted them in their success is me really just following up with them and being that backbone that they need to hold them accountable for what it is that they're doing. And I don't think enough people do that. So what we've created is I've partnered up with one of the developers who's actually part of our group and we're developing an application that we're going to be launching into beta trials that's going to be able to assist and accommodate whatever your goal is. So it's kind of like the, uh, the the Robin Hood $1,000 challenge uh, that we called out about a year ago. Um, it's going to be similar to that, uh, but there's so many more features and I'm going to keep you guys up to date. So for all those that are part of Learn Plan Profit, which is my course uh, where I work with the people on a daily basis, you guys will all have the ability to be part of our beta trials. Uh, because we have a couple thousand people within the Learn Plan Profit course, I don't know if we could actually um, have the entire beta trial uh, for everyone because that's still a very large number of people. I think we want to keep it anywhere from around 100 to 200 people and we want to make sure that it's, they're very active people. But the reason that we're creating this, this application and this website is because now it's becoming very repetitive and very time consuming for me to respond and do this for a large number of people. And I truly think that just imagine, just imagine you having someone to hold you accountable for every single position that you take. How much better of a trader or of an investor or of an entrepreneur would you be when someone's on your back assisting you and boot and motivating you to being successful? I want to create that application so each and every single one of you can have the ability or have that set foundation that is needed uh, to, to becoming successful. And uh, I really think it's not because I don't think uh, people are smart enough. It's not because I don't think people try hard enough. It's because people begin to lose hope or don't understand where it is that where they stand with their overall potential for success. And I'm going to keep it very simple. And we just wanted it to run it uh, through the beta trials within the Learn Plant Profit course because obviously the people that are part of our course are a little bit more active than the people that just joined the free group chat. Uh, but for whatever the case may be, uh, we are going to be releasing this application uh, in the future. And yeah, just like a person of internet. So you can see him coming right there like a spotter. All we're going to be doing is, again, we're still not going to be telling people, I never tell people where to buy, where to sell, or what you should trade. It's being that foundation and being that, that tool or resource that you guys might just need to becoming a more consistent and profitable investor and trader. And not only do we want to implement this when it comes down to investing in the stock market, but when it comes down to investing in anything, such as like cryptocurrency, Forex, and stuff like that, those are features. I think it's a very simple concept that we're gonna be working on that I hope that you guys are very excited for. So out of all this thing, as you guys can see how important structure and discipline is, no one's just naturally super disciplined. They inhibit habits that they become used to. So what I challenge each and every single one of you guys to do is every single week on Sunday or on Monday to plan out one or two stocks that's going to get you to your weekly goal. Now when you have that one or two stock that's going to get you to your weekly goal, make sure you notate what it is that you need that stock to do to be a credible stock so you can invest that hard-earned money. Make sure that's an actively uptrending stock, something that you see valuing and that you understand the potential for profit in comparison to the potential for loss. So uh, I got a little bit too into it and I'm just super excited for this application. It's something super simple, but I, um, I, I'm gonna go ahead and try to uh, end the live stream here. Yeah, so um, I, I think, and I'm gonna, um, just give me one last second. So what Will said, so Will said, uh, you're helping create not only millionaires, uh, Ricky, but fulfillment in financial life. Honestly, what I think, what my goal is, I really just want, like I, I try to motivate, uh, I try to motivate as many people as I can uh, with those that I surround myself with and as well as the people that are part of my group. 
So it's not that um, you guys can see very, very um, like clearly that with what it is that I choose to do um, and, and talk about on my YouTube channel, I've talked about like uh, because people like kind of like knowing what it is that I do and stuff like that, um, like how much money it is that I make in comparison to like other people and, and they find that as motivation. But what I find so aspiring is for someone to be able to have a hobby or a full-time income um, off of something that they're truly passionate about. So if that's day trading, if that's real estate, if that's starting your own business, I would like to be that spark of interest and then provide you some form of application or software that can make it easier and more accessible for you to be successful in that field. And that was my initial goal from TechBit Solutions. Um, I, I think it's extremely amazing that so many people are uh, so driven by having a stable income. And I think that's, you know, I would not be here where I am today if it wasn't for my stable income, uh, for my stable job that I had um, before I started doing this full time. So all I want to do is, is my goal is not to make, you know, millionaires and millionaires on top of millionaires. It's it's to provide realistic goals and to provide people with tools and resources uh, to making it more accessible for people to actually achieve that goal. So uh, I'm super excited for it and I hope that you guys are too. Uh, and for those that are asking, how is it that you guys can become a part of the Learn Plant Profit Lesson Library to be potential beta trials for this uh, application? Uh, the link is gonna be the first link down below. So this is gonna be for the first 10 people uh, that enroll and the promotion is uh, SST. So it's like the abbreviation for Sunday Stock Talk. So so that will save you, if I'm not mistaken, $50 off the Learn Plan Profit Lesson Library. You have to use it um, after you uh, check out. Uh, so for those that would like to work with me on a daily basis, would like access to the complete lesson library, the A to Z lesson library, where you'll learn everything that has led to my success, not only investing in the stock market, but in real estate uh, and in buying and reselling cars, then that's going to be the course for you. So SST, that's Sunday Stock Talk, $50 off, and that's it. So I talked about the different tickers because of the inconvenience of this live stream crashing on my first live stream. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna break down all the different stocks in the description of this uh, video. And I hope that it makes it uh, a little bit more clear on where it is that I see value, why it is that I see value, and that you guys don't just trade based off of my call outs and stuff like that. Again, we're here to build people that know how to fish, not just be fed. So if you're someone that wants to be fed and be told what to do, then we're definitely not the group for you. But if you're someone that wants to work towards something and is willing to dedicate the time, then I would highly encourage you to just click that first link and learn a little bit more about what it is that Learn Plan Profit is all about. So um, if you guys wanna take a minute, you guys can follow me on um, on Instagram. All the links are down below, so you guys can dedicate one or two minutes uh, to become a little bit more familiar with me and my overall community. And we do have our free group, so it says free group in the description. You guys can join over 78,000 people uh, that are gonna be there to assist you to your overall 2018 goals. So. Um, what was that? Ricky, uh, my eight-year-old daughter hero said that she wants to be like you. Thanks for the inspiration. Juan, <laughs> I appreciate that. That's that's so sweet. Uh, well, I, I really do uh, thank you for the kind words. And let's see. <laughs> All right, guys. Ida, uh, thank you, thank you again for the support. So, um, all right, guys, thank you guys again so much for your time. Again, uh, the uh, the coupon code is in the description if you guys don't see it, and it's SST. That will save you fifty dollars off the lesson library. You guys could also check out the second link, and that's to the Flipping Wheels course. Uh, so that's if you want to learn how it is that I buy and resell uh, both higher end cars and lower -end, lower end cars as well. Um, so it Mark Hall says it's time to buy another <laughs> car. What's going on, Mark? Hope you're having a good. Uh, Sunday. So thank you guys again so much for your time. If you guys haven't given the video a thumbs up, you know, we'd greatly appreciate it. If you guys can't, then I totally understand. If you guys haven't subscribed already, um, you know, we just hit a little bit over 100k subscribers. So I really do appreciate, um, you know, if, if you guys can subscribe. Uh, but if you cannot, then I definitely understand why. So uh, like we always end our videos, we have to go ahead and say, okay, Google, play Gucci Gang. All right, Gucci Gang by Lil Pump. Playing on Spotify. Alright guys, well thank you guys again so much. Hope you guys all have a beautiful Sunday. Again, the best way to be able to achieve your goal on a consistent basis is to plan for it and then take action and work towards it. So whatever it is that you guys are trying to pursue, regardless if it's investing in the stock market or being an overall entrepreneur, make sure you plan for it. Uh, continue working hard, continue following your dreams. Let your passion do and drive to your success. And like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy team.